Thursday, June 24th, 2021, 301 p.m. This is in 144p and this is going to be 10 minutes because I cannot upload more than 20 megabytes per video because I'll have a Gab Pro account. Gab Pro is 2 gigabytes. I'm only limited to 20 megabytes. And so this video is limited. It's 144p and it can only be like probably up to 14 minutes long or whatever. But I'm cutting off at 10 minutes. So uh, I'm looking at graffiti right now uh, by the train station. This is Glendale train station. We went to Costco. Uh, I ate one slice of cheese pizza. It's stupid. We're probably not going to go back there ever again just because it's unhealthy and because Kim doesn't even like it. It's like poor. It feels like a fast food restaurant. The people who are there are generally older and not young and not good looking and not white there's very few white people and so uh and there's just it's older people and there's a lot of fat people and uh and this area glendale los feliz area there's someone camping in a tent uh and there's a lot of people below this overpass and it's ridiculous. Uh, it's just stupid. I am 100% intolerant of homeless people, of living around homeless people. I think it's ridiculous to live around homeless people. I think it's because just they're homeless people are extremely dysfunctional on average. And, uh, you know, it's just so annoying to talk to homeless people. Homeless people might get mad at you if you're not even doing anything that's deserving of that. Because uh, it happened to me before. Like, I was just walking in Skid Row, and then one time this guy came up to me. He's like, you're the one who kicked over my barbecue grill. You know, he was, like, shouting at me like he thought that I kicked over his barbecue grill. Uh... I mean, there's so many things have happened to me in Skid Row, obviously. Uh, I mean, where people say stuff or whatever. They say toxic things. They rarely, like... Well, this one guy used to come up to me and punch me lightly in a funny way. Supposedly funny way, but it was funny to him. But it's, like, not funny to me. Uh, but pretty much everyone in Skid Row almost never does anything violent. Last year, I was violated four times physically in downtown LA. Uh, so, uh, it's just ridiculous. So, I am on the cusp, seriously, um, of moving out of Skid Row, of getting serious about moving out of Skid Row. Uh, I mean, I don't know why I haven't actually... Well, I, I did go to Short Creek earlier this year and I moved out. Uh, I mean, I didn't move out of my place completely, but uh, I mean, I have a room and Kim has a room and I pay both of the rents because Kim stopped paying her own rent. Uh, and so I had to pay it. I mean, I, I didn't have to, but I mean, I chose to. And so I chose to pay it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but then I went to Short Creek earlier this year, and, uh, but then I was trolled by the landlord there, and, uh, so I had to leave very abruptly, because there's, like, no housing, there's very, uh, but it didn't matter anyway, uh, I didn't have the money to rent a place, another place, so I got kicked out of that place. I signed the lease at that place, but then he acted as though I didn't sign a lease. And then he kicked me out because the police, I called the police because it was crazy. Because he said, he was, he was like vaguely threatening me that he was gonna physically make me get out. And it was, it was scary to me and it was threatening. So uh, I called the police, but then the police couldn't do anything because I didn't have a copy of the lease because I didn't get a copy because they didn't give me a copy because I didn't demand a copy, because I trusted them, you know, I trusted them. And so, uh, it was insane. 
and uh, the room that they gave me was uh, had pet fecal matter, like cat fecal matter on the carpet, but it also someone cleaned, supposedly cleaned that carpet with a portable carpet cleaner, but it would still smell bad, like pretty bad, like a litter box. And uh, seriously, but it, but it did, it was wet also. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if they tried to clean it, I don't know if they just sprayed a hose in there, I don't know what happened. But uh, they trolled me and then uh, I got kicked out because he said I had to get out, even though I signed a lease, it's stupid, yeah. I signed a lease, six month lease, but then he acted as though I didn't, and that I overstayed my, my stay, at, like he said it was a, he told the police that it was a hotel, but it's not a hotel because if you go on Google, uh, I mean it probably isn't a hotel, I mean it's a monthly and a hotel, Maybe, but I don't think it is. It used to be, but it's not anymore because on Google, you can't reserve it as a hotel. You know, on booking.com and stuff, you can't reserve it as a hotel. So it's stupid. Uh, so, whatever, we have to overcome. You know, cause, and then I had to spend my whole coronavirus uh, stimulus to uh, pay back my sister because my sister loaned me $1,200 to get out of that place because I had to... I didn't have to, but I chose to uh, not be homeless on the sidewalk overnight at the St. George Airport. So I uh, paid for a taxi to go to Vegas because I paid for a taxi to get out of to get out of uh, Short Creek because it was snowing almost. It did snow that night. We got a hotel because uh, my sister loaned me money in Short Creek, but then fortunately because it snowed a lot where like everything was white the next morning. Then we got a taxi, which cost $155 to get to the St. George Airport. Then at the St. George Airport, we were there like all day trying to reserve a car, but I realized I couldn't reserve it because, uh, well, it was the next day that I got a reservation. So it's so insane, like it was so crazy. Like I wasted so much time and money because what happened was then the St. George Airport closed overnight for like five hours, but I didn't want to, I don't want to be on the street for five hours. And it was cold at night there. Probably, it was probably gonna be cold. Uh, and I was with Kim and I didn't want Kim to, cause Kim would be stressed by that. Uh, and uh, so we got a taxi for $451 to Vegas. And then in Vegas, there, like the, the, the hotels were booked, except there was one hotel left I think and that's what she said at the Holiday Inn at this place where there's four different hotels. Uh, actually, the Motel Six was available, but they made us have an ID for Kim, but Kim didn't have an ID, so we couldn't get in. It was insane, and you had to wear a mask. And there were like 20-something people in line. It was insane, and it was Friday night, and it was uh, spring break, so it was so insane. I had to spend so much money. So then. It was so crazy. Then, uh, you know, so then I paid back my sister uh, that money that she loaned me. And uh, so, whatever. So I don't have, whatever. So I just haven't had much money. But I'm going to move out of my place so I don't have to pay $473 for a room. So I'm going to move out of my place and I'm going to live with Kim. But I'm not going to live with Kim for long. Because I've lived with, I've pretty much lived with Kim every single day for like 27 days a month on average, pretty much. Uh, for years, for like, because I've had this place for over three years, my own place. And uh, I've had my place for almost, for over, over three years now, but I like, I don't use it. I don't use it, it's a waste of money. So I'm going to move out of that place so I won't have to pay at least $473. And I need to get a job, you know, because I just, I do like my, some aspects of my life, just browsing the internet, like I just hooked up a desktop computer uh, lately and uh, using a desktop computer with a good internet connection is fun. And so it's better, it makes it easier to look up information so we can get out of this place.